climax to the season. Gathered in by Croft. It's a reasonable set. They've taken Saracen's first pressure. They just need to reset and not go over that breakdown. They've dropped the ball, though. They're going to have to play wide of this breakdown now and reset something. Got to protect that ball. Ed Slater standing off. Seven metres short. Not really been a vintage season, I think it's fair to say. But once again, the cup final is heading towards the most dramatic of conclusions. Waldron. How much does he have left? One more turnover, and this might be that. Well, Jordan Crane is the go-to man here because he's very good at staying on his feet. We saw him score that try in the final against London Irish a couple of years ago. Time's nearly up, surely not again. There can't be a Saracen supporter at home or in the pub who can watch this. This is agonising. This is what the title means to the champions. They're refusing to give it up easily. Well, it's about control for Leicester. They need to not make any errors because of the clock. Ignore the clock. Just keep battering away, chipping away, and hoping someone slips or makes a mistake as they go in for the tackle. Crane gathers again. One more Leicester error, and Saracen to the champions. That defence has stood firm all match. And it's being tested as much as it has been with timer. What a finish to the match, what a finish to the season. Six metres short. Slater again, driven back, there's no way through. But all those Tuesday afternoons when Richard Crockle, Tuesday mornings, has his forwards doing this. Alessandra, For a moment like this. Alessandra Tuolangi is waiting in splendid isolation on this near left-hand side. Will the forwards trust the backs to save their what bacon, though? There's the try line. Crane wanders in, tries to go up the line. Surely not, surely not. There's nothing Saracens can do about it at the moment. Young's slapping the horses into line. One more thrust, and they may well have rescued themselves again. Saracens know that if they win it, then the championship's theirs, but that's the try line. Well, Kelly Brett, Wayne Barnes needs to look at the offside line, look at the Saracens players, they should be back on the try line. Croft waits, Waldron waits. Is it to be the player's player of the season? He's going for the line. Well, the post actually is the try line as well, so if someone can hit that post, it's a try. This is extraordinary. Almost as extraordinary as the finish last season, and we never dreamt that that would be repeated. Look at all the bats getting involved now. Taken on by Dan Cole. The bats are waiting for it. Crane. It's monumental defence from Saracens. But there's still work to be done. Waldron. Twenty-third phase in the final play of the final, and still we don't yet know who will be the champions. No hands. The ball's out. What Young's doing here, shown no inclination to use the backs just yet. Toby Flood suggesting they get on with it. Well, Alex Tuolang, he's moved off his wing now, has gone more into midfield. Oh, it's like the 15th round of a super heavyweight contest. One more punch, one more That's slip binds, and the contest will be over. When do Leicester spread it? Will I, they spread it? This is I think it's again. after this phase. Youngs has just told Flood. 
There's too many defenders in front of them. They shouldn't go wide. They need to stay tight around the posts. Here goes Slater again. It's almost as if there's a force field five metres out from the Saracens try line. Crane again, the 30th phase of the final. Now then, here we go. This is flood. Saracens need to make their tackles. The season rests on this moment. Youngs is driven backwards. Saracens driving them back towards the 22. Penalty. penalty to Leicester. Oh, it's time to take a breath, folks. One, two, three, off their feet. Decisions, decisions. What do you do, guys? Oh, it doesn't matter, mate, does it? Well, you've only got one choice, Nick. Okay, you've got to tap and have a go at it. I personally would get Alex Durilangi running yes. from distance, running from depth, tap the ball and give it to him, make him make the initial contact. I don't think they'll do it. I think they'll give it to Crane or Waldron. Crane will probably tap and go himself. The other option is to set up the scrum and use Boris Stankovic and Cole's power and try and get a march on, get the Saracens' back line motoring backwards before the ball comes out. Saracens' defence then was so impressive. They were so good that they had Berger stood out in the midfield just in case he was man-marking Tolangi. And that tells you a lot. If you can defend like that with one or two of your forwards down around the breakdown, that shows commitment, it shows an unbelievable desire to win this trophy. We'll everyone off the pitch and then we'll start. Time was up about ten minutes ago. But still we play. Six minutes of added time. It's taken by Jordan Crane. And still ten metres away from the trial line. Feet. Took six minutes in the last passage of play. Let go. Who's Willis Steve, strongest? Let go. Extraordinary Berger finish. came in from the side there, got away with it. But Leicester almost being out-Leicester, aren't they? Give away the, give away the penalty because it's not enough for, for Leicester. You can afford to give away the penalty if there's any chance that you can get away with something. Take a step, Kelly! Steve Borthwick crawls out of the rock. In the darkest corners, Leicester are searching for inspiration. Flood did really well, but the tackle was a really, really important one. And it was made by Farrell. What a match Farrell has had. Crane, though, continues to bang up the door. And it's a penalty to Saracens. The debate ends. An extraordinary finish this year. Lands their way. They still need to kick the ball into touch. Owen Farrell can't do it because he's got cramp. He's going to give it a go. Away it goes into the East Stands and Saracens are in orbit. The 12th Premiership win in a row at the end of the season was their most important because it means that they are the champions. Well, there's an old adage in rugby, Phil Larder's favourite saying, defence is what wins your trophies. And today... Defence won Saracens the trophy. All the way to English champions for the first time. What a feeling. What a day to end the season. The winning run is now complete.